we're going to learn how to make angles, reflex angles, using a protractor and a ruler. So here are the five angles we're going to make today. 325, 250, 263, 198, and 302. So I'm going to go step by step to tell you how to do this in an easier way. So the first one is 325 degrees. You need to take 360 minus 325. That gives you 35 degrees. So now you have to draw a 35 degree angle. So you have to take the bottom part of the protractor and the line that you just drew and line it up with zero. The end has to go right in the center. Find 35 degrees, which is going to be the numbers here on the inside for if we're doing it on the right side. And it's right here. Take your ruler and connect this line to the vertex. You just drew a 35 degree angle. So inside here, it's 35 degrees. But since it goes into a full circle, your reflex angle, this angle here, is 325 degrees. So that's how you would draw that one. The next one is 250 degrees. You would take 360 minus 250. That equals 110. Step one, draw the line at the bottom like this. Now you're going to measure 110 degrees. Line up the line on zero. Since we're starting on the right, we're going to use the inside numbers. And it's 110 is over here. Because 110 is an obtuse angle, so it has to be bigger than 90 degrees. Connect your line to the little dot that you made, like this. You have now drawn a 110 degree angle. But it's asking for 250. This one here is 250 degrees. So let's get in a little more complicated numbers. We're going to go 263 degrees. You have to subtract it from 360 minus 263. You're going to get 97 degrees. So now you draw a 97 degree angle. I'm going to draw it the other way now. You'll see what I mean by that shortly. There is your line. Now you draw a 97 degree angle. 97 degrees is going to be right before 100, so it's going to be right around here. Connect the lines. Remember with the ruler, it's just to draw a straight line. You're not measuring anything right now. So you just drew a 97 degree angle. But because we're looking for the reflex angle, it is on the outside. That is 263 degrees. That's how you would do it. The next one is 198. You go 360 minus 198 equals 162. You're now drawing a 162 degree angle. Draw the line at the bottom. Line it up here with zero and find 162. 162 is over here. Connect it. This one here is 162. That means this angle here is 198 degrees. So you'll take 360 minus 302. That gives you 58 degrees. Draw the line at the bottom like this. Now you measure 58 degrees. It's right before 60. Connect it. You now drew a 58 degree angle. And the rest of it is 302 degrees.